solving a two-step linear inequality with a fractional coefficient. So I have an inequality here. Um, the instructions say solve the inequality for u and then simplify my answer as much as possible. So I'm tr I need to isolate or get this u all by itself on one side of my inequality symbol. Um, so if I kind of look at this inequality and um, draw a line down the middle of the inequality to kind of separate my right and my left sides of the inequality here. On the right side, I just have one term. It's a constant term. But over here on the left side, where my u is, I have two terms. Remember, terms are separated by plus and minus signs. So before I can solve for u, uh, the very first thing that I want to do is get rid of this uh, division bar or the fraction here. Well, this is one way to do it. I'm going to actually show two different ways to solve this problem. So this will be method one. We're going to clear the fraction first. So since my denominator is 7, I need to multiply every term on both sides of the inequality by 7. So I'm going to have 7 times 9 as my first term. Then minus, uh, and I'm going to put 7 over 1 for this term since I have a fraction just to keep numerators and denominators lined up. So minus 7 over 1 times this term is greater than, and then 7 times 1 on the other side. So I multiplied every single term by 7 on either side of my equation. So 7 times 9, now I'm just going to simplify. 7 times 9 is 63. Over here, my 7s will cancel, which was the whole point, actually, of doing this. And I'm left with just 4u over 1. So I need to subtract just 4u. I don't need the over 1. I can leave that off. Is greater than 7 times 1 is 7. Now my fraction is gone. I can just proceed with solving. So to get the u by itself, um, I need to get rid of this constant term here. So I'm going to subtract 63 from both sides of my inequality. And I'm subtracting, not multiplying or dividing by a negative. So I don't need to flip my sign here. But when I simplify, I'll have negative 4u is greater than 7 minus 63, which is negative 56. My last, my last step now is to get rid of this coefficient. Now I am dividing by a negative. So when I take this step, I am going to need to flip my inequality sign. So when I simplify, I'll be left with u on the left. Now I need to flip my inequality to go the other way. And negative 56 divided by negative 4 on the right, which gives me a positive 14. So the solution here is u is less than 14. Now, I'm going to solve it one more way. Another way here uh, where I don't clear the fraction. I just go ahead and leave the fraction in and solve it just pretending as if the fraction was any other number. So I'm going to rewrite my inequality here as 9 minus, and I'm going to pull the fraction out front and write that as 4 sevenths u is greater than 1. So now let's just leave the fraction in and just solve here. And I'm going to, we, you can use a calculator to do the fraction computations if you're not good with fractions. So to get the u by itself, the first thing I need to do is get rid of this 9, this constant term out here. So I'm going to subtract 9 from both sides. And again, I'm subtracting, not multiplying or dividing by a negative. So I don't need to flip my sign here. But when I simplify, that leaves me with negative 4 sevenths u is greater than 1 minus 9 is negative 8. Now I need to get rid of this coefficient, this negative 4 sevenths. 
And if you remember, there's kind of a hidden multiplication sign right there or implied multiplication. So this is really negative 4 sevenths times u. The opposite would be to divide by negative 4 sevenths. But if you remember, when you divide fractions, that just means to multiply by the reciprocal. So I'm going to flip it around and multiply by negative 7 fourths. But if I multiply by negative 7 fourths on the left, I have to also multiply by negative 7 fourths on the right. So now I am multiplying by a negative number on both sides. So when I simplify, I'm going to flip my sign. Now over on the left, my entire fraction will cancel out, which is why I did this. And I have negative times a negative, which will just leave me with a positive u. Now, since I multiplied by a negative on both sides, I'm going to flip my sign. And now I need to just simplify this over here. I'm going to go ahead and put the negative 8 over 1 so that I keep my numerators and denominators lined up with each other. Now, I notice that 4 will go into 8 two times and into itself once. So I'm just left now with 1 times 1 in the denominator. I can leave that off. And in the numerator, I have negative 2 times negative 7, which is positive 14. So whichever way you pr prefer to solve it or deal with that fraction, you get u is less than 14 as your solution.